excited to celebrate your bachelor party in Windsor? Sean Austin's bachelor party! I, um, bring on the drinks, bring on the, the flip cup. You said the, those two words. I, I, I'm, uh, you know, I like to think I'm a little bit of a pro when it yeah. comes to flip oh, cup. Oh, a veteran at flip cup. Well, you're going to be playing against me, I That's hope good. you realize. Yep. So we got everything. We got flip cup. We have a special surprise coming at the end of um, our little segment, but I'll just leave that to the end, okay? <laughs> so after much success, Sean, oh, by the way, you, you, got, you got engaged. You yeah, got engaged. When did yeah. you get engaged? Uh, that was in December. In December, yeah, okay. And your always... fiance's name is? Katie. Katie. Yes. So somehow you... she said yes. Yes. Well, come on now. Come on now. With that voice, hello. Um, well, congratulations on that. Also, hey. congratulations on your new self-titled EP. So yeah. when did that come out? Uh, that we, we released the uh, You Belong early in September, and then uh, the EP came out in its entirety in October. Now, yeah. what did you do before? Am I wrong in saying, were you going to be a cop before you became a singer? No, so my dad is a, uh, is a retired uh, cop from in Vancouver. And uh, that was kind of, I mean, it was, baseball was going to be my thing for a long, long time. And oh. Then, I mean, I was, I was raised by a cop, right? So naturally, I, you know, when you're three and four or five years old, it's super cool. And then it just got even cooler as I got older. My first car was a retired police car. And Hilarious. So, you know, I was kinda... Did it have a thing in the back, the divider? No, nope, <laughs> it had the vinyl seats, and I didn't tell people when they got in the back doors that they were disabled so you couldn't get out. <gasps> Ooh, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, but, yeah. I, I that's funny. That. Yeah. that is hilarious. Now, um, speaking of police officers, we're going to talk about your EP and your new songs in just a second. We were at the Sony, what was it again? Um, the Sony Music Showcase. Sony, yeah. we were at the Sony Music Showcase and we heard that you got mugged the day you got signed to Dallas's Dallas Smith's record label. So we're, we're going back a couple, or so CC Mays two years ago. Uh, I was with Steelhead already, uh, but then we signed our distribution deal with Sony uh, that day at my first CC Mays in, in Saskatoon. And um, it was kind of a very last minute thing, but they're like, you should, you should play tonight. So here I am, a complete rookie, kind of already freaking out, and um, then I'm, then I'm going to play for you know a whole bunch of big and Sony execs. Yeah. Um, but I needed my guitar, and I left it back at the hotel. So I ran back to the hotel, grabbed it on the way back. Somebody else wanted my guitar, came up behind me. We had a little one, two, you know, a little. <laughs> Well, well, that's what the girl said. They yeah. said that you walked in, your hair was a mess, you looked flustered, and you're like, someone literally just tried to steal my guitar. Yeah, but you didn't let them have it because nope. you're like, this is my big break. Well, no, I, I had a show to do. Yes. Like, it didn't, it's, it, I think I probably would have done that in any, any case. And I was like, sorry, man, I just, I gotta go. I don't ever. What did you do, punch time. him? Well, then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you curious. Know, I want to <laughs> imagine this in my brain. There was, there was, yeah, I mean, it, again, I, it, it happened so quickly for me just because I had my, my, mo or my uh, adrenaline's going for the, for, show wow not anything else we love I, 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 when i when they told me that story i thought whoa like can you imagine what are the odds of it happening on that day but it was a uh, it's the copping yeah that, that yeah. can protect yourself i suppose for my first uh, ccmas it was a uh, uh, something i won't forget yeah what a story so as for your radio singles paradise found yep. then it was uh, get me there get me there and you belong yeah. which i hope that we'll hear a little bit from you in a little in a little yeah, bit you'll play absolutely. something for us yeah, it wasn't gonna make it on the album well, what happened was, I mean, it's the process of, of doing an EP or anything for that matter is you're you kind of, we always run in a best song wins scenario. This one was one of the last ones that came across uh, that was pitched to us. And as a team, we heard this and went, like, if, if this doesn't make it, then we have to release it as a single. But then yeah. um, it kind of bumped out some other things that we had lined up because the song was just too good. Oh, and it's so I good. I love singing it. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited incredibly happy for oh, what it's done earworm and yeah. dallas smith is like known for his earworms i find yeah. it's just his songs he's a hit maker yeah. so being under his label it's it's a no-brainer that you would have one of these i feel it was a little bit of a you know the paradise found and, and get me there were a little more laid back and kind of a mellow vibe we wanted to um put a little more rock influence into it and open up my voice a bit and that yeah. was kind of the best song to do it that's like your thing right yeah. that little grit that little rasp it sounds yeah. like you had a couple cigarettes a couple jack daniels, <laughs> jack daniels some yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah is that kind of what you're like is that your signature sound what you're known for i guess i've got grit yeah a lot of people um over the years compared me to to john mayer a lot yes um but i think that mixed with my like i'm a huge classic rock fan so you put 
that sound together and then years of bars and restaurants and singing and not being very good to my voice gives me a little extra sandpaper. Yeah, well, I, like if, if somebody were to say, you know, you, uh, Sean, you have to stop talking for a day, like I bet you it's impossible to no, do. No, it can't happen. Yeah. No way. Maybe your fiance would say, maybe yeah. you should. <laughs> if you don't mind, can you shut up for a second? Yeah. Um, so what is next for you? Today you're kicking off your radio tour. Yeah. So, so what's next? You're going to do the tour and then... Tour, um, new single coming out uh, in April. Um, which you, is, do you know like details of that? <laughs> the details are uh, that it's not what anybody's expecting right now. The norm is to, uh, I'll, you know, I'll let the cat out of the bag right here. The norm is to, you know, people would normally think the next single would be off the EP. It's not. Yes. We're releasing something <sighs> brand new. Wow. So it's the, the whole idea is that coming into a very, very busy summer with festivals, um, we want people to hear a lot of, a lot of stuff. And so when we do it live, they, they can say they've heard it already. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. I love that. I was yeah. not expecting you to say that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so before you sing for us, we have your bachelor party here. It's not complete without a, a bachelor party is not complete without what? Think about it. I can't say this. But, <laughs> what do you think a bachelor party needs, Sean Austin? It needs uh, a... Um, it needs a, a bunch of... Uh, it needs we a, got a stripper a for you! I didn't want to say it, it needs a stripper, and you, I didn't know what was coming around the corner, and there's a stripper. And we have some paint stripper for you, because we're a mom and pop station, okay? There are kids that are probably listening right now, so congratulations again on your engagement, on your right EP, right and all of your success. So, um, you're single, you belong, people can get it wherever you stream music, yeah. and then soon enough, we'll be able to hear some new music from you. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. So, maybe we can hear a little something? Let's uh, play the You Belong the Way It Was uh, Written. Perfect. Yeah.